Hey everyone, it's Cobra Zach. And in this video, we're going to go through the process of creating your first fully scripted pyro musical, all using the Cobra Show Creator software. It's super easy. Don't worry, we're gonna go through this together. First, let's go ahead and open the Show Creator software. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and click on My Shows, and then we're gonna click on Create a New Show. And let's go ahead and give it a name. So we're gonna call it Cobra Music. And then we'll select the firmware version. We are on 5.1, so let's select Create Show. And then does your show have music? Indeed it does. We are doing a pyro musical, so let's go ahead and select Yes. And let's go ahead and upload our audio files. So we're gonna actually upload not one, but we're gonna upload three files. And we're gonna then use the Cobra Audio Studio and actually merge those together and make a combined audio file. Uh, so that's where all the audio files are, you know, merged into one. And let's go ahead and work on that process here. So we're gonna upload them one by one. Just takes a brief moment, of course, depending on internet speed. And we'll add a new one. There we go. Upload, finished. And let's add the third and final track. Perfect. All right. So the next step here is actually to tell the software where we want these files to go. Uh, first, we're going to give it a name, calling it the one. There we go. And let's hit add audio file. So that's going to search any of the files that we have on our show creator account. And then we can click add, add, and add. Perfect. We've got all three. So now from the combined audio file editor, you can actually go ahead and move these files around and change the order in which they will be uh, put together. So right now we've got this one being the first one, second and third, but hey, maybe we want this one in the middle. Uh, we can go ahead and make the change, but yeah, maybe actually we, we, we do want that up top. So we can go ahead and put that one back. And then once we're set in stone on that, go ahead and hit save. But set in stone is probably not the best word because at any time using the software, if you feel that maybe one of the songs is in not the perfect place and you'd rather have it somewhere else, of course you can go ahead and make that change there. And uh, having this ability really negates the, the need for any external audio editor. Um, of course, if you wanna do a little bit more fine details and had some fades and all that kind of fun stuff, um, you'll definitely wanna use something like Audacity, but for most part, uh, this is gonna be great and easy to use. All right, so the audio file is combined. We'll go ahead and click finished. And right there, the one, it's at the very top, letting us know the file size and all those details. So because we are using the Cobra uh, Show Creator audio player, we're gonna go ahead and add some Simpty time code uh, to this. So to do so, we're just gonna click on the drop down under Simpty. So the time code option is actually gonna allow us to let the Simpty player within Show Creator actually control the 18R2 and fire our show all from the software um, when it's combined with the, the controller there as well. So we're gonna head and put that on the right track and it's just gonna take a moment to process that file and we'll be right back when that's done. Okay, awesome. So the process has successfully completed and we now have that Simpty timecode audio on the right hand side of our uh, audio track, which is perfect. If you wanna learn more about Simpty, do check out our description uh, to this video where we'll have some links going back to our help portal that covers many topics. So one thing I do want to point out too is if you're ever looking and trying to find an audio file, um, really the best place to go to get music would be something like Amazon or um, iTunes. Any option really that gives you a quality MP3 file is going to be your best friend, okay? So let's go ahead and select this as the file that we're gonna be using in our show. And then it's gonna have us select the option for what type of SMPTE we want to use. Now, because we're using the Cobra Show Creator SMPTE player, and we want to allow the software to directly control our 18R2, we'll wanna go ahead and select timecode two. And it's gonna go ahead and process that for us. Now, the next step is editing your show settings. So you wanna make sure that uh, your show name is there but also you wanna make sure your trigger button and trigger channel are set. So these are the buttons that uh, and channels that your 18R2 is actually gonna use directly to start your script. Um, by default, trigger button is one and channel is zero, which is really great place to leave it, but if you wanna customize that, you can. And then we'll go ahead and exit out of there. Now, 
personally, when I'm starting and getting everything together, I like to just listen to the music and add the events as it goes. Because from there, I can kind of just think, okay, this would sound good. But if I need to, later on, I can remove events, uh, if there are too many, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start there. Let's uh, hit play, listen to the music, and start adding the events by hitting the Add Timed Event button. Okay, perfect. So we've got a few events there. Of course, depending on how much product you're using, um, what you really want your show to look like, you can go as crazy or as conservative as you want. Um, really, the sky is the limits. But I did notice that one of these events I didn't really like. And let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit to, to get that. So it was actually event number five. So right there, um, I didn't really like where it was placed. And I don't think I need that. So I'm going to actually right click and delete and remove that uh, out of there altogether. And also, I wanted to make a change here on event number uh, four, because I'd rather it to hit right at that uh, 20 second spot, so I can easily click on the event time, and then just go ahead and make any modifications. I could add this to 19 seconds, but like I said, I do want to keep it at 20 seconds uh, dead on there. And just hit change, and that will make that change for you. Okay. So once we've got all of our events in place, we'll want to go ahead and assign some channels. So this one's going to be channel one, Q1, channel two, Q1, and channel one again. But you're going to notice that the software is automatically putting in that uh, queue for us, keeping track of everything nicely. Okay. Okay, fantastic. So next step is adding the fireworks. So from the right hand side, you've got a My Fireworks section. I've gone ahead and uh, put some effects in there that I'd like to use. But of course, you can go add your own or you can import from the Wiki Fireworks database. Okay. All right, perfect. So the first start I want to have is I just want to have a brocade and crackling mind cake. Put that one there. And then I want to have some slices going off. There we go. And then I want to have the five shot and the beast. We just go ahead and, and put these in just where you see fit, depending on the music and the, the style you're looking to go for there. Okay, fantastic. Now, once we're zoomed in here, you can also take a look and just see if anything's overlapping. And if it is, if you want that effect to work that way, um, at any time, you can right click if you've imported this and put all the settings in and view the My Firework and it gives you a quick detail on exactly what firework you've put into there as well. Okay. All right, awesome. So now that we've got our show done, we want to actually export it um, onto our USB thumb drive so we can put that into the 18R2. So you wanna click on export, allow that to process, and simply right click on download Cobra CSV, and then hit save link as, and then move over to our Cobra USB and hit save. And it's as easy as that. So let's go ahead and we're gonna load this onto the 18R2 and we'll be right back. Awesome, so you've got your show all scripted and you're ready to load it onto your 18R2 controller and fire your show. It's really easy, once you've got your USB drive and your show on there, you'll wanna go ahead and take the USB cap off your controller and then put that into the 18R2 and turn the unit on. So that's gonna load your script and you'll see that it's gonna indicate uh, by circling the LEDs that the script is loaded, and then you'll see a one for that one script. Other than that, you're gonna need your RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable, so that's that right there. We're gonna put the right channel into the 18R2 controller. You'll also need your USB audio card, and we're gonna put that into the green jack on that and plug that into the computer. So when you're using SMPTE time timecode, your 18R2 is going to give you a timecode quality feed from zero to nine. Of course, nine being the best and zero being the worst. So we can test this while the controller is in the test position. 
And, and we can just go to the SMPT audio player within Cobra Show Creator and press play. And you'll see you get a time code zero as it goes up to time code nine. So now all we have left to do is actually shoot the show. Let's go get our module set up and connect the controller to the computer and run our show using the SMPT time code audio player. Okay, perfect. So we've got everything set up. We've got our 18Ms on channel one and channel two. We've got our 18R2 all armed and ready to go. And we've got our Cobra show creator software loaded on the computer. Now, first we just wanna go ahead and access our trigger button and trigger channel on the controller. So we're channel zero, button one. And you'll notice it now says PAU for pause. That means your system is live, ready to go. It's just waiting for that time code. So from here, we'll go ahead and open the SMPTE show player. And as it loads, you'll see we've got all our events here up at the top. We've got our audio file and our SMPTE time code. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit play. And you'll notice that the time code starts working, the countdown starts going, and we're gonna have our first cue fire here. And then here. And perfect. So you see everything firing, everything going, but if you wanna stop the show for whatever reason, you can just simply pause and confirm that you'd like to pause. And then the show will pause on the controller as well. Okay. When you're ready to start everything, maybe there's a deer in the field, whatever it may be, you can simply go ahead and just hit play and the show will start again on the controller. Simple, easy, seamless process of using your laptop without the audio box and really creating your first pyro musical. Well, there you go. You've gone through the stages, you've done a basic manual fired show, you've done a scripted show, and now you've done a SMPTE time code enabled pyro musical. Congratulations. If you have any questions about any of the steps or anything we've covered in these videos, please let us know by giving us an email, help at cobrafiringsystems.com or giving us a call. We're always here to help. Until the next video, happy shooting.